there's a there's a story that's floating around sport fishing history, and I don't know about the truth of it or not, but about a ganyan full of rockfish that breaks, and some crazy deckhand jumps in the water, and somebody else saves his life. What's that all about? I'll start out. I'll start out. Okay. Yeah. So what happened was we had back in the day you could use ten hooks. And the current was ripping really hard. I mean, going back behind the boat, probably a knot and a half, maybe two knots. We were anchored on the GW. You it, forgot that part. Yeah, okay. yeah, I were anchored on the GW. And uh, so I get the ganyan unstuck from the, the bottom of the boat, and it floats away. So I grab and it's our loaded. I no, I'm grabbing our. Yeah, oh. there's a three pound sinker on there, but there's ten big fish on it. So floating. So I go to to grab it with a net, and I barely catch it, and I lose the net. And I'm like, oh shoot. I got to get the net and I got to get the ganyan. And then Reed took over. Okay. <laughs> so he's going back there and he's swimming. He's got the, he's got the ganyan full of grouper and you know, ca ca cow or co a couple other ones that I can't think you of. You jumped in the water? Yeah, yeah. he jumped in the Kicked water. Kicked off his deck boots? And, yeah. yeah. And the current's going about a mile and a half and he's swimming about a half a mile. Are you saying this is a bad idea or go get no, that? No, we I, need I'm that. on the anchor. Oh. I can't get the boat. Crank the boat up and go get him. It's not a good idea, but we got, <laughs> he didn't tell me that. Yeah, we got about 15, 15 people on the boat, and I'm thinking, i got to think of something quick. And I see a rent rod, and it's strung up. So I grab, I go up, and I get a life jacket. And I put the life jacket on this on this rod, and I throw the damn thing out there. Oh, my God. He grabs a hold of it, and all this time it's going backwards. He's got the net and a ganyan full of, and a ganyan full of rock cod. And one hand to swim with. Oh my so god! So he grabs, he grabs that life him. jacket, and I pump him in. <laughs> pump bait, right? And, and I wind him in. I get him up, and he gets on the boat. Did you we pump saved the gas? We saved the ganyan full of fish in the net. We saved everything. Oh my god, Mike! What a story! <laughs> That's amazing. And, and then you know the one last scene that happened at the end of that story. Remember, we saw that big old mega shark swimming around it not long after that. Yeah, oh, no the way! Same spot. Oh my god, he's in the water with a big mega. They're not as bad. They're not as bad as a great white. See, they're a little more cautious than a great white. Yeah, you don't think that one would have nibbled on him? Uh, you never know. <laughs> He likes to say I saved his life, but I, it wasn't that big a deal. Yeah, it was so ironic how we never thought just, yeah, just let the stuff Little stuff. Go. We didn't think nothing. Yeah, I mean. Let the stuff go swim in. We'll get it later. Yeah. Eddie, that's what I was going to ask <laughs> yeah. both of you guys. Did you th did you just jump in the water without yeah. thinking? Yeah, he did. You're like, well, I got to get that. Well, he did, he did manage to. He took his shorts off. Yeah. And just went in his underwear. <laughs> but you you think, you know, I, you know, I could swim that current, but not with one arm. Yeah, and right. You don't, you don't realize how strong the current is until you're a part of it. You, you know, know that's really. Right. That's when I really found out. You know that man, that current is ripping, man. <laughs> that's when when people get lost at sea or whatever. And yeah, the, the, you you can figure out you get tired real fast. Right? Yeah, that that's why I would actually, you know, if you're going on a skiff or something, any boat, man, get yourself a vest because you never know if you're going to slip away. <laughs>